2021, the much-awaited return of the longest-running beauty pageant in the Philippines. Binibining Pilipinas, the home of the queens, the most beautiful women in the world. 34 queens, 4 crowns at stake, the one and only Binibining Pilipinas 2021, this July 11th. And hello to all the pageant fans all over the world and the universe rather and to my new subscribers and returning viewers Welcome back to my YouTube channel before I start with today's episode allow me to greet Adrian Delamide a happy happy birthday Thank you so much for your love and for your support and the kang salamat to Dr. Adrian Simpel watching all the way from Cebu City Thank you so so much and to everyone who already subscribed to my youtube channel my old subscribers my new subscribers returning viewers to everyone who showed so much love and support thank you thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and if you're watching this episode right now and you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel what are you waiting for help me to grow this channel and to reach a milestone here in youtube simply by clicking the subscribe button below and subscribe to my youtube channel So in today's episode here in my channel, I'll be sharing with you guys my personal bets who are my choices to win this crowns in Binibining Pilipinas 2020. And I'll also be sharing with you guys the reason why I'm choosing this Binibini to win this specific crown in this year's edition of Binibining Pilipinas 2020. Who are the rightful owners of this crowns in Binibining Pilipinas 2020? Who is your bet to win Binibining Pilipinas Globe, Binibining Pilipinas Intercontinental, Binibining Pilipinas Grand International, and the most coveted title, the Binibining Pilipinas International? Let's start this episode with Binibining Pilipinas Globe. I am choosing Honey Grace Cartesano to win Binibini Pilipinas Globe. This Binibini deserves to win a title and a crown, but not the Miss International crown. If ever she will compete in Miss Globe beauty pageant, it's like a fresh start to every pageant lovers to see a tall, young, fresh-looking Miss Philippines in the Miss Globe stage. Second choice to win Binibini Pilipinas Globe is Binibini Meiji Cruz. This Binibini is really a crown contender and I have to say that after watching her overall performance during the swimsuit presentation of Binibini Pilipinas 2020, I have to say that Meiji Cruz got it all. And I'm showing you guys some photos of her. I have to say that over glam makeup is something that suits her. I mean, because it can give her that powerful look and powerful aura as you can see in these photos. Now let's move on to the next crown which is the Binibining Pilipinas Intercontinental. And I have on my list Jasmine Dimakulangan and Samantha Panilio. During the swimsuit presentation of Binibining Pilipinas 2020, it's very evident that these two Binibinis are really a crown contender in this year's competition. And the reason why I'm choosing these two Binibinis to win this specific title or crown is because for me, they can be a strong delegate or representative of the Philippines in the Miss Intercontinental Beauty pageant. Plus for me, these two Binibinis are really confident and has this Pasabog presence that can make us all wow in the Miss Intercontinental stage and maybe can win the second Miss Intercontinental title or crown for the Philippines. And I'm also including Graciela Lehman in this specific crown. To be honest with you, I really wanted to put her as part of my bets for the Binibining Pilipinas Grand International. But for me, the type of beauty that she has can actually be fit in Miss Intercontinental Beauty pageant, just like Christy McRary. And just like Christy McRary, Graciela Lehman has a gorgeous body and she's very articulate. Next will be the grandest crown, which is the Binibining Pilipinas Grand International. And to be honest with you guys, after watching the swimsuit presentation of Binibining Pilipinas 2020, I have to say that most of the Binibinis are really deserving to win the Binibining Pilipinas Grand International. But I'll be sharing you guys 
who I think can be a possible representative of the Philippines in Miss Grand International Beauty Pageant. Let's start with Gabby Bastiano, and I'm showing you guys some photos of her. I have to say that she has this Latina vibe, and I guess that can be her edge in this competition. Looking at her photos right now, I have to say that her beauty can actually be her strength in the competition, having this full glam makeup, as you can see in these photos. Pwede pwede nang makipagsabayan sa B countries. But Gabby Basiano needs to give more when it comes to her passarella because I hope that you also agree her passarella is not that powerful or impactful compared to other Binibinis during the swimsuit presentation. Next is Binibini Justine Felizarte. I was really inspired by her story. And looking at her photos right now, overall performance, especially during the swimsuit presentation of Binibini Pilipinas, I have to say that she is really a complete package. She can speak well, she's very articulate, and she has a promising passerella. Next is Binibini Maureen Montaigne. Maureen Montaigne has this mesmerizing aura and projection. We all knew that her walk or her passerella is not as powerful as the passerella of Graciela Lehman, not even as good as the passerella of Meiji Cruz and Justin Felizarte, but we cannot deny the fact that Maureen Montaigne can be considered as early front runner in Miss Grand International 2020. Next is the most COVID a title and the most prestigious crown in Binibining Pilipinas. It's the Binibining Pilipinas International Crown. I have two Binibinis on my list. First Binibini is none other than Hannah Arnold. This Binibini has a charming and bubbly personality that can easily be noticed by the Miss International Organization. And according to the myth or the sabi sabi in the barangay, Miss International Organization always chooses the girl who is more like of a classy kind of woman, mahinhin or in short, hindi mahabasag pinggan. And based on their past winners, I have to say that somehow it's really true. And for me, Hannah Arnold is just the right representative of the Philippines to compete in Miss International Beauty Pageant. I totally agree that when it comes to Q&A, she's not that impressive. Like the last time that I watched her at the Renera Coliseum during the Binibini Pilipinas 2019, she answered that question just right, but... She did not give any concrete or any in-depth um, answer to that particular question. As we all know in Miss International Beauty Pageant, it doesn't matter if you cannot uh, speak well, if you're not that articulate. Because at the end of the day, you will be judged by this jury on how you deliver your speech. And for me, if she can practice well in delivering her speech, I don't see any problem why she cannot be the next Miss International from the Philippines. Next is Binibini Maureen Montaigne. Yes, you heard it right. I am also placing Maureen Montaigne in this crown because for me, it's the most coveted title of all the Binibini Pilipinas crowns. And I want to see her competing as well in Miss International. Now, the reason why I'm also putting Maureen Montaigne in this specific crown is because Maureen Montaigne can be placed in both titles, the Binibining Pilipinas International and the Binibining Pilipinas Grand International. And we cannot deny the fact that her experience competing in Miss USA and in Miss Eco International can be her edge in this year's edition of Binibining Pilipinas. Now, if ever she will win Binibining Pilipinas Grand International, we can definitely say Consider that she's really a front runner, and if ever she will win Binibining Pilipinas International for sure, Maureen Montaigne can also be considered as a front runner in this beauty pageant. There's a lot of deserving Binibinis to win any of these crowns, and I have to be honest that for me, this batch of Binibinis can actually be considered as one of the strongest batch in the history of Binibining Pilipinas. Allow me to have an air time just to share with you guys my observation. I hate to compare, but I have to say that the candidates of Binibini Pilipinas are more beautiful. And these Binibinis are more Miss Universe prototype than the batch of Miss Universe Philippines 
2020. So that'd be all for today's episode here in my channel and yes we can consider this episode as my final prediction in the upcoming Grand Carnation Night of Binibining Pilipinas 2020. I hope to see you guys on my next episode and thank you so much again for your love and for your support. I really really appreciate every one of you and I hope that you guys stay safe. Always remember to stay kind because you can never go wrong with kindness. I love you all.